Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. This article comes to you guys from Light Reading. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So Verizon is getting into the slicing game more and more as they continue building out its mid band on the 3.7, the C band, and they continue to modernize the entire site and, and they get this SA on air. They're starting to incorporate slicing. And in this case, this 5G slice is going to be for enterprise class FWA. So Verizon is promising to deliver faster speeds and enable service level agreements via a new 5G network slice, enhanced internet product targeted to large business customers. So I just want to point this out briefly. If, if Verizon is able to offer a slice that can give a that can enable a service level agreement, then T-Mobile is doing the same when, when they approach their business customers. Like Tractor Supply, for an example, they partner with T-Mobile and Tractor Supply is using T-Mobile's FWA to run their business. And I'm, I'm positive that T-Mobile has some sort of service level agreement with Tractor Supply to make sure that the product and services work and are up at all times, that there's a certain level. It's the same with the consumer. They, T-Mobile, Verizon, they, they all sort of have a service level agreement. They tell us, hey, you're, you're going to get between 80 and 300 megabits per second or whatever it is for, for that particular area. So slicing is, is going to be monetized, and that's a big deal. And don't quote me on this. I'm speculating here. But I think eventually, because T-Mobile is further ahead with the slicing, they have slicing more broadly available. They already have different services using the slicing, like T-Priority, Super Mobile, Consumer. I think T-Mobile, that's next for T-Mobile. They're going to monetize a slice for consumers. So as an example, if you're on the highest plan, if you're on the experience beyond, T-Mobile should allow you to pay an extra 10 bucks to get a slice. That's for you, it's, 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 it's even a higher priority than, than uh, the regular experience beyond customer. If they don't buy that slice, they don't get that priority. Same, it, it's, it, it's gonna be similar to what at and is doing with at and Tur Turbo, but better. It's gonna be a better version of it. Slicing is just better. Uh, for many people that I've talked to, they tell me AT&T Turbo is a joke. Now, there's going to be different opinions on that, but they tell me, hey, I, I got AT&T Turbo and I'm getting, I'm, you know, getting the same service. Like, it's it's really no different. I'm, I'm wasting my money. So with T-Mobile, that would be different because they would be offering you your own slice. And if they could monetize that for the consumer, even if only 10, 20% of consumers buy it, that's still extra revenue that T-Mobile is making. So I think they're going to, tackle that in 2026 if i had to take a guess but for now verizon slicing we're seeing that more and more and now it's making it into the enterprise uh, class fwa for verizon and i'm sure verizon is, is thinking about slicing the same way t-mobile is they're already thinking hey can we monetize this on the consumer side can we take this here can we use this for first responders and the answer to that is yes, you can use that for all services involved. IoT, red cap, whatever it is, you can use a slice. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.